Hi, welcome to this video. It's Claire's Wares here, trying a different intro. I don't even know where I'm going with this. Anyways, I'm here to show you how to do my barrel roll bracelet. And this is what it looks like on the other side. Both sides are interesting. But yes, so this bracelet is made on the hook. I'd say it's a bit more difficult than other designs. It's it's more unusual, I'll definitely say that. You're gonna have to pay attention really well. But if you've done other hook-only designs that involve like knotting and stuff, shouldn't be too hard. I find it's a nice challenge, but it's not impossible or anything like that. But anyways, let's get started. For this bracelet, you're gonna need a lot of clips to work with, just to work with, but you're only gonna need two to actually finish the bracelet. So yeah, if you have a lot of C-clips, it's easier to work with. When you're doing this, you'll see later why. But anyways, let's get started. So today for my colors, I'm using limited edition pearl white for the knots, like all of them. I'm not doing multicolors. And for the borders, I'm using burgundy. And limited edition bands, like I've said earlier, usually they don't knot very well, but because of the way this bracelet is, it, they should work perfectly fine. I'm just doing, using them to see how it looked because I'm curious. So to start off, you take your border color, which like I said is burgundy, and you just take one of them, and then you take two clips and you just clip them on. This is so it's easier to make. And I'm using these bright fuchsia, fuchsia, fuchsia clips so that you can easily distinguish the clips from the bracelet. Yeah, so you just kind of hold this in between your fingers like this. That's how I always do it anyways and put your hook underneath. And then you take one of your knotting bands, which is again pearly white, pull it through like that. And again make sure that these clips don't like slip out from under you or anything. And then you just pull the back band over the front one. And it should look something like this so far. And then you're going to put your thumb or finger on this to hold it. And then you just take this little loop that's sticking up. And you twist it like that and fold it downward. And then you're going to see these two main loops on the top. You're going to stick your hook under that one under the right one and then you're going to actually take the hook the pointy part of the hook and just put it through this one and then pull both ends on your hook completely stretch it out a little bit and then it'll make a little knot like that I'm gonna go over this again so to add another knot for this first band you're knotting on three ba three knot bands just going to pull this burgundy over your hook like that. Take a knotting band, pull it through. But the second one's a little bit different because you already had one on your hook when you did it. So you're just going to pull this band closest to your hook over its other band, the second closest. And then this other band you're just going to take off. Oops, I did that wrong, I'm sorry bloopers. Pull this one over and then you're going to hold on to the one that's now closest to the hook. Pull both of them off like that. I feel really bad. I hope I'm explaining this really well enough for you guys. So it looks just like the last band you did before you knotted it completely. And again you're going to twist this look loop downward. If you have like squared bands or bands that aren't limited edition like this, you gotta be extra careful in doing your twisty part. That's really important to make your knots look neat. And again, you're going to see these two loops right here. I'm just gonna pull up through the bottom one like that. And then put its little tip down into the left one. And then just pull on it a little bit so that makes this knot. Scoot it back on your hook a little more. 
And then you're going to do this one last time because this first band that you're knotting onto, you need to knot on three. Just going to take this knot band, put it on the same way and everything. Pull this one over. Hold on to the one that's now closest to your hook its end. Pull this one off. Then take your knot, twist this forward, push it through, and then use the tip of your hook to grab the other end. Okay, now that we're done with that, you should have six bands on your hook right now. And then you're going to take your border color, pull it through all these knots real careful about it. And then you're going to take two more C-clips, clip one end, this band you just pulled through, and then you're going to clip the other end. And when you do this, make sure that it's not facing inward like this, or else your band might like unexpectedly come unclipped and that would unravel your bracelet like right here. Nope, I gotta fix that. But yeah, make sure that the bigger section of the C-clip is closest to your band. That way there's less of a chance of it coming undone. I like to stretch these out a little bit. So there's more spaces in between the knots, but it should look something like this so far. And now, you're going to add in a row of two knots. So you're going to go into here first, this little brown space right here. You're going to pull a knot band through, like that. And then you're going to pull your back band over the front one. And when you do this, make sure you don't knot too tightly or anything or else your knots may not look as perfect as you would like. Again, hold on to it if you need to. Twist this forward. Put your hook through it the same way that I showed earlier. And then you're going to go into this next little space in between your knots. Right here. Pull your white band through it. Then pull the back over the front, twist it forward, and then put your hook through the same way. And now on this end you only had to knot on two bands, so you can pull through a border band, put these two on it. And again, you're going to use your clips to clip the ends of it. And I'm going to show you one more row of three knots because this time it's a bit different since you're not starting on a completely empty band. You have these other two ones here. But again, you're going to knot on three bands, no different in that aspect. Got a band ring. <laughs> but anyways, you're going to knot your bands here in the middle and then on the other end. So you're just going to stick your hook through here. Pull a band through it. Like that. And this time you can just pull the back over like you did on the last row of two. Then you're going to twist it and do your normal stuff here. Now you're going to go in between these two knots here. Put your hook through it like that. Pull your knot band through, 
pull the back band over the front one. Fix it up a little bit. Twist it forward. And like that. And then do it one more time. This time on the very end here. Pull the back over. Twist it. Put your hook through like normal. And now you're just going to pull your burgundy through all of these knots. And then clip them at the ends like you did normally. And again for the next row you're going to do two here and here. Pull a band through and keep repeating the process for a little while. I'm not going to tell you exactly how long to do it because I'm going to show you how to start adding your border. But for a few more rows I'm going to keep doing this process. Maybe until I have like a six-ish rows, that's an approximate estimate, and then I'm going to start adding on my border. Alright, so I've done about six rows. You can do like six or you can do more or less, it really doesn't matter. I just did approximately six. And it should look something like this. I know the C-clips on the side look like a complete mess, but I'm about to fix that. So yeah, it's looking good so far in the middle, I think. So, to start off, you're going to go on one of your sides, I'm doing the right side first. Just stick your hook into the bottom band and then take the C-clip off. It doesn't really matter what clips you use, honestly. Especially since these aren't actually going to be on the side when you finish your bracelet. I'm just going to take a border band to pull it through. But I'm going to take the last half off, stick this second band in onto my hook, then put the other end on. Now I'm going to take this clip off, pull a border band through all three bands that are on your hook now. And then make sure one of your bands is on your hook. Then put this next band on your hook. Okay. Clip. The C-clip came off unexpectedly. And then you're going to put this at last end on now. And again, take a burgundy and pull it through all of this. Grab another band and put it in between both ends of your band that's on your finger and hook now. And then just keep going with this until you get to the end. And it doesn't really matter if these bands, like the border bands that are like in the middle, are twisted or not. It really doesn't matter because, you know, they're hidden with the knots, but don't try not to like twist them like a ton. I'm sure that wouldn't be very good, but if it like twins, twists once or twice, it should be perfectly fine. Plus, it's kind of hard to tell anyways whether or not they're twisted. But yeah, I find it easier to add the borders just like little piece chunks at a time as I go through the bracelet because like if I were to stop and add a border like after every single row of knots I did that would be kind of tedious I think getting a bunch done at once is a lot easier but I don't want to like do the whole bracelet with C-clips on the side because you know I don't want to risk anything accidentally unclipping or 
you know, using a ton of C clips to work with, it would be a bit harder. So I just like to do it sections at a time. And the last one is the same thing. And after you pull a band through all of this, there's no band to put in the middle. So just kind of clip this, these last two bands, like that. And then I do the other side the exact same way. So I do that whole single section on the other side. And to continue my bracelet, I would just keep knotting on knots, clipping the sides, and then every once in a while stopping to loom up the sides. So basically repeat the same thing on the other side, what I just did here, and add more knots like I did earlier. You can rewind the video if you need to, but I'm going to go off camera to finish the rest of my bracelet, and I'll come back to show you how to clip it. All right, now I've done the rest of my bracelet, and it should look something like this. And I think my dad's vacuuming, but whatever. It shouldn't take very long. And um, basically what I'm about to do here is what I did on the other side. So after I completed my border on this end, and I have three bands on my hook, instead of adding another one, like you would normally if you were doing part of a border, you just take a clip and whoops clip all three bands on your hook. And then to clip the other end, you just find this one band here that all these knots are attached to, and you clip it on both ends. And there's your bracelet. I really like this with the limited edition bands. It looks so professional, I think. Also feels really interesting, but anyways, this is what the other side looks like, by the way. But yeah, there you go. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.